Well, I've been a fan of Boston Celtics for, uh, you know, my whole life pretty much. First Celtics team was back when I was like seven years old. The Boston Celtics became legendary. you guys it is your boy jesse almeida here on youtube and on bean town takes and we're doing a reaction video the last video you guys saw amazing an absolutely amazing celtics game that we got to go go see the celtics won on a buzzer beater by jason tatum for the final scores you see we're down at the bottom 115 to 114 I don't normally do this, but we're going to react to Kyrie Irving and his post-game interview. And uh, we're going to have to see what he said, says because obviously, as you guys saw in the last video, he kind of took things outside of basketball to fans yesterday. So we're going to react to his uh, comments and um, we're going to see what he says. Just really just cool down. You know, give yourself a chance to reflect. Uh, it's kind of you know, crazy. We got to come in here and answer all these questions right after a game like that. But, um, you know, it's just part of the business. And um, you know, just look your teammates in the eyes and tell them that you know, we can get them next game. Uh, still one here on their home floor. It's going to be tough, obviously, but um, we're built for yeah, it. And uh, we did some good things tonight. Of, uh, some Kyrie's things that we downfall. could uh, definitely clean up, on, clean up on. Clean up on is uh, the things that we can fans. control. Their offensive rebounding, uh, limiting the one shot, one possession. I feel like that's so. what really gave them uh, some life towards the end of the game, was just getting those offensive rebounds and uh, making some big plays. But uh, being up three with 45 seconds is obviously not safe when you're in this building. So uh, it's just part of being in, in the playoffs. And I will being never on the take journey. away Kyrie's talent. He's an amazing player. Can you He's an amazing take basketball us through player. what all you Absolutely. had to navigate through and all you had to block out to be locked in and have the performance you had? Uh, but he's it's the playoff, so there, there's game. a level of efficiency that you want to have uh, throughout the possessions that you're able to play uh, in a game like this. So I was just really zeroed in on what he the mission was, what national. the goal was, and that was just to play our best basketball, weather the storm, uh, deal with the ups and downs, know that they're going to make runs, we're going to make runs, and uh, be able to respond, uh, come to timeouts, uh, come out of timeouts with the execution mindset, have the same mentality, just rest at that the end, not in the middle, like um, not a good human and just live with the results. So, and Kai, this is a two-pointer. Uh, hey, what was your vantage point on that last play where they, you know, they push it? It's not a smart find Tatum. Yeah, I, I came over to help, and uh, there yeah, was already somebody doubling ball. on the ball. It was 10 seconds left uh, when I saw JB catch Durant. it. Um, Derek White no uh, pushed it up to uh, JB, and um, you know, I, I just thought we had a, a good time to, to really settle the ball. But uh, I thought JB was going to go up initially, and he passed it out to Marcus. Marcus head faked and dribbled in between the lane. Then I was left with two guys on the backside, so I had to make a choice. And JT made a spinning layup, and you know that's how I saw it from my vantage point. And uh, it looked like there were a couple times where you gave the fans the, the finger. I'm curious, was there anything oh, there that we go. you thought crossed the line today? And are you the kind of guy that gets motivated by kind of going back and forth with the fans? Do you kind of use that internally as uh, something to fire you up? Look, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just where I'm from. You know, I'm used to all these antics and people being close nearby. Um, you know, it's nothing new when I come into this building, what it's going to be like, but it's the same energy they have for me, and I'm going to have the same energy for them. And it's not every fan. I don't want to attack every fan, every Boston fan, but, um, you know, when people start yelling pussy and bitch and fuck you and all this stuff, it's but so much you can take uh, as a competitor. And, um, you know, we're the ones expected to be docile and be humble and take a humble approach. Nah, fuck that. It's the playoffs. This is what it is. So when somebody says you to you, That's crossing the line? You're literally flipping fans off. For them possibly saying, Kyrie, you suck. You're flipping them off. Of course they're gonna say, you afterwards. Hey, here's one more for you, Kyrie. You. Here's one more for you. 
you know, you called the city of Boston racist. You're flipping fans off. You're stomping on the Boston logo saying, screw the city. I mean, these fans heckling you, you kind of brought this upon yourself. And how this whole thing started, we're going to watch next. But you, you guys saw the clips that I put in yesterday of him just putting another log under the fire when it, it was just starting to go out a little bit. When fans were starting to calm down a little bit, he'd add another log to the fire that would spark the fans up again. So when you say, Kyrie, hopefully my era in Boston, people will get over it. They won't because you... you, you there's always you always do something to spark it up again. You bring it upon yourself. It is you know I, I've I know what to expect in here, and it's the same energy I'm giving back to them. It is what it is. I'm not really focused on it. It's fun, you know what I'm saying? And like, like again, it's where I'm from, I, I've dealt with so much. So coming in here, it, you relish it as a competitor, and, and this is uh, you know I'm gonna keep repeating myself when I say again, but. This isn't my first time in TD Garden, so what you guys saw and what you guys think is as entertainment or the fans think is entertainment, all is fair in competition, you know? So if some somebody's going to call me out of my name, I'm going to look at them straight in the eye and see if they're really about it. Most of the time, they're not. Kyrie, to that point, do you feel like the hostility that you get still? Let's not let's not focus on this. Like, ask me questions about the game. Like, it's not about the fans. The no, fans aren't from playing. A, from a basketball standpoint, yeah. do you feel like the hostility you get there's no hostility, bro. It's basketball. Well, you were flicking some people off. I'd say that's some hostility. From what? <laughs> you literally flipping them off. That's what. That's what. What is from? Then you're call. Then you're going well. Like the Celtic fans are crying, like they're babies or whatever. No, you're the baby. Yes, your actions are hostile. Yes, they are. You give hostile actions and comments towards Celtics fans, you're going to get hostile back. It's as simple as that. Really? What what point? Are you guessing that that's hostility or like it hostility, hostility for me is yeah, like growing up. Well, we've never seen that from you this season where you are running down the floor flicking people off. This is the first time you actually caught it because it's a big time game. I respond in different ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to focus on that. If you want to ask me questions about the fans, go ask them. Go on the street and ask them questions. All right? Seriously? So I'm asking from your perspective, from basketball Oh, so you've done it before. Do you feel like the hostility that you get It's not hostility, fans, bro. Yeah, it is. Do you feel like the energy you get from fans in this building brings Embrace out it. the best fr from you? Embrace it. Embrace it. It's the dark side. Embrace it. What? Hold on. I got to go back. What did he just say? Embrace it. Best fr from you. Embrace Sorry. Do you feel like the hostility that you get? It's not hostility, fans, bro. Do you feel like the energy you get from fans in this building? Embrace it. The best fr from you. Embrace it. Embrace it. It's the dark side. Embrace it. So you embrace it by stomping on the logo, literally saying screw you to everybody in New England who's a Celtic fan. You embrace it by calling us the scorn girlfriend. You embrace it by flipping fans off. And you embrace it by when somebody says, Kyrie, you suck, you tell them to suck your... Really? That's how you embrace it? No, 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 no. This is how you should embrace that type of energy. Just shut up and let your talent do the talking. If somebody really does say something that crosses the line... Fine. Like if somebody says something racial to you or if somebody says something 
about your family or whatever. Absolutely. Confront them. Whatever. Absolutely. But you, 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 you've got to realize you, you, you're doing these actions based off of a Kyrie sucks chance, booing, a person saying Kyrie you suck. This is absolutely crazy. This is how you embrace it? No, just shut up and play basketball, and let your talent do the talking because you're a talented basketball player. If you guys didn't, if you guys heard me going down the escalator yesterday, I, I said it. He's a great talent. That will never be taken away from him. So just let that do the talking. And nobody will get on you. I don't get this dude. I really don't get this guy. Why, why say anything? He really should have just said next question. To both both of these questions. And you know what, guys? You know what, guys? For his actions yesterday, they're not going to the NBA is not going to do this. Because he's a superstar athlete, obviously, and he's the he is the athlete. But he should be suspended one game for his actions. And the reason why I'm saying that is because if that was a fan making those types of gestures at the players and all that, they would have gotten ejected from the arena and banned from the arena. Most likely for a year. I get it. Sometimes fans do cross a line. And go. Beyond. What they should be doing. But. We gotta be fair about this. He can't be acting this way to fans either. For what. For saying what. You suck. They're not going to do it, but I feel like he should get a game suspension. I know you said you wanted the Celtics fans to, to move forward. Do you, do you feel as if um, that could ever happen? I don't care at this point. Let's, just, let's get to the series and talk yeah, about do. our possessions and how we can get Hold better. On. Wait a minute. Yeah, you do care. You do care. You know why? Because you said in your interview before game one, Let's ho let's just move on and show my highlights from TD Garden. Yes, you do care. You do care about it. I'm not going to focus on the past with Boston. I'm on the Brooklyn Nets. I'm happy to be with my teammates and competing out there. Kyrie, two quick questions. One, um, what contributed to the 15-2 to two run that they went on in the start of the third quarter in your in your eyes? Uh, just a, a lack of uh, focus on our end. Just starting off the third quarter, watching their watching some of the film on. on um, and you know what I noticed too? The, the games there that they played against the top teams, they really come right? out in the third quarter and try to put you their stamp on the, the game, Celtic fans create that again, separation. Right? That way, this. they can just pace out the game. Again, um, you know. So moving forward, we just got to be aware of that. Uh, when there must have been at least quarters, really five, instances, the, five or six instances yesterday. And second, just Kevin, obviously that didn't he have was shooting night. How do you help him get addressing the Celtic or, fans? Or is there anything that you guys need to do on to the get court and have a more efficient it, game too? In a negative Nothing way. I think with Kevin Durant, we know who he is. We know he's gonna go back, watch film, and prepare. Um, it may have looked like a bad immature. shooting night, but I, I know his second half looked a lot better than his first shooting wise. But he was doing all the little things. Um, and, and we and know how, um, how high his expectations are for himself. So we're not going to overthink it. Uh, but we, we definitely got to look ourselves in the mirror as a team and just see where we can control the little things, the little details to help us uh, be able to close out the game. You know, I feel like we, we had the game in control. 
And then, um, you know, final second shot beats us, and now we're sitting here, you know, asking questions about hostility and shit like that. And that's where he might Chipotle's all new pollo asado starts with fresh that. grilled now, chicken. And now we are going to watch the timeline of his meltdown with the Celtics and why Celtic fans have th this initial hatred towards him. Because when he was on Cleveland, right? Even when he was on Cleveland, Boston fans didn't hate Kyrie like that. We were actually we were actually welcoming we actually wanted Kyrie on our team. And then when he got traded to the Celtics, it hurt because Isaiah Thomas got traded. However, we got one of the best point guards in basketball at the time. I mean, he still is one of the best basket point guards in basketball. But we were so excited to get him and all that. And this is how pretty much all that start, all this start, hatred started towards Kyrie. I was going to edit this video, and I found out when I was inserting the first part in there where Kyrie did his interview for Game 1, I learned that my microphone here was acting up. It wasn't catching my audio as good. But, um, it's okay because the audio, honestly, I didn't talk that much during the interview. And you guys could still hear me for the most part with earbuds, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm not going to redo it because I'm not going to fake the reaction and give my thoughts again. But, um, I haven't watched this yet, so I caught that other issue just in time before this one. So... Now we can watch this video. Let me turn down my volume a little bit because I took a little break when I was doing that. I spent the day with my uh, family because as you, if you guys are watching this on Tuesday, most likely at that time I am in the hospital for my malnutrition. So there might be videos coming while I'm in the hospital. I don't know. Depends on if you guys want me to continue stuff like this, so leave a comment down below if you guys want me to continue stuff like this. I'll, I'll do my best, but I won't get, I can't guarantee many, many videos, so. I'll leave this guy's link with in the description. Some of my teammates, as well as the organization and everyone else in Boston, you guys will have me back. I plan on re-signing here next year. Boom! So, I appreciate it. As much as the Celtics have to be proud of, they're going to rue this performance today. It'll be a tough off season, knowing how close they came. Good sportsmanship there. Final seconds, tick off. It's over. Cleveland wins game seven. LeBron James and the Cavs do it again. Well, it wasn't much surprise. You know, LeBron was going to come in here and play great. And what he's done is nothing short of spectacular. You know, this is an experience these young guys have to learn from, but the, the future is bright. Nobody even thought they would be here one game away for a chance to play in the championship. Listen, the East is gone. It was gone though while LeBron stayed in the East. The, the Boston Celtics are the team to beat in the Eastern Conference for the next 10 years. They took them to seven games without Kyrie and Gordon Haywood. Eastern Conference, I have some bad news. You're going to get your butts kicked this year. Let's see this team. Uh, starting lineup was Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Gordon Haywood, Jason Tatum, and Al Horford. The bench was Marcus Smart, Marcus Morris, Terry Rozier, Aaron Baines, Daniel Tice, Semi Ozile. Um, to start the season, I would have honestly started Marcus Morris. Or Smart, one of the two. Uh, I definitely would not have started Gordon Hayward at the beginning of the season. I definitely wouldn't have done that. Um, so let's say I had Smart starting. My sixth man would be Marcus Morris, senior, obviously. Terry Rozier would be my seventh man. My... Eighth man would be Gordon Hayward. Again, because he's coming back from injury, I want to I, I want to take his time. I want him to take his time 
getting back into the rhythm of things. Aaron Baines at the 9. Tice at the 10. And Ojale. <laughs> man, I remember Ojale. If Marcus Morris Sr. was starting, obviously Smart's the 6th man. Terry Rozier is the 7th man. Hayward's the 8th man. Baines is the 9th. Daniel Tice, 10. The yeah. Celtics. They're going to win 67 games. And they're going to be up by 30 points in a lot of them. And there's going to be a lot of high five. 67 and 50. Kyrie, how important is it to see number 11 up there one day? Hmm. It's, uh, Reason number one of why this all started, and, uh, Kyrie. Shared it with some of my teammates as well as Reason the number one why Celtics and everyone fans else in Boston. Don't you guys like will you. have me back. I plan on re-signing here next year. Boom! So, I appreciate it. I wish I had an answer for why we can translate how hard we play in practice for the last week or so into the game. Um, Brad's doing a great job of teaching us and put, putting in sets and putting in structure for us to follow. Um, you know, we're asking a lot of our players to be like basketball savants now rather than just basketball players. Back at TD Garden, the Boston Celtics top the 76ers 105 to 87. It's, I'm not worried about Gordon Hayward, but I mean, if you look at his body language, he's clearly not. He's far from where he needs he's to be. He's not right? going Can to we be say where that? he needs to be till December, probably. The big story here, guys, is the Celtics blew the doors off the Philadelphia 76ers. My biggest storyline thus far is the Boston Celtics losing to Toronto and Orlando. Um, for me, I've got the Boston Celtics head and shoulders above everybody. Mm -hmm. That includes Toronto. I'm going to monitor whether they look better with or without Kyrie mm -hmm. Irving. Just don't. We just don't hunt great on we're offense. Day so it's day to desperation. Day yeah. and we're not there yet. And so that to me is well-coached teams are, you know, get there. We're not a well-coached team. It's pretty obvious. And about their slow start, here's what Kyrie Irving had to say. We needed this. We're not as good as we think we are. It's right now, I think it would be nice if we had someone that was a 15-year vet, a 14-year vet, that could kind of help us race along the regular season and understand it's a long marathon rather than just a full-on sprint. Celtics just need a stop here. It's a one-possession game, 112-109. Burke has an open court in front of him. Pulls up for a three, buries it. Trey Burke has 29 off the bench. Words can't even explain it. it. Feels like deja vu all over again. Like we keep saying and doing the same thing after every game, you know. And it's uh, it's getting real annoying. I mean, I don't even know what to say to you guys at this point. Okay, let's talk about the Celtics beating the Pelicans last night after inserting Marcus Smart into the starting lineup. I don't know. Would you keep him there? Gordon was on the bench to start the game last night. Kyrie saying, "I like playing with him because I mean, we all know who's taking the yeah, shot." Right, right. right. <laughs> right. Celtics won their seventh in a row, beating the Wizards in OT. They're winning by an average of 23 points per game on the streak, but they haven't beat a team over 500. To me, this is the Celtics figuring it out. You know, they moved Gordon Hayward to the bench. And the biggest story is the reemergence of uh, Kyrie Irving as a star. Let's just take a quick peek at the Boston Celtics huddle. The Celtics were playing well, but then they got blown out in Miami, and Marcus Morris gives... Gives, gives them a little playful little shove. Those jerseys were When hard. players understand that they have a level of value. Even those gray ones right there are It's hard, hard to resuppress it. It's like putting toothpaste back in the tube. As Hayward inbounds it to Tatum. Tatum over and one dude. No good. And the Magic hold on to win. There's Magic in Orlando tonight. Jeff Turner. It was well done, well played. Good job by the coach. Experience. It's the best thing I can say is experience. We're lacking it, and because of that, we have a lot of uh, learning to do. It's not easy to be great. You just got to have each other's back at the end of the day. You can't make counters, you can't point fingers. Um, you just got to continue to empower each other and have each other's back. If we don't, when we start pointing figures, everybody's going to go into their own little show. We've got to continue to, to play basketball. It starts from the top to the bottom. I had to uh, call Bron, you know, and tell him, like, you know, I apologize for <laughs> being that young player that wanted to everything at his, you know, at his fingertips. And, you know, he's, he's been there with me where I've been the young guy of, you know, being a 22-year-old kid and, you know, wanting everything. Wanting everything right now. 
Has your mindset shifted, though, in regards to re-signing uh, with Boston, like the announcement? Ask me July 1st. Oh, starting to go back Obviously, on your uh, word? Kind of like an entertainment thing for everybody. Some people call me about this, you know, this dumb <laughs> You know, of course, my name is keep going on in this. I'm not worried about a reputation. I'm not worried about a legacy of me. I think he literally said it right after that, too. I don't owe anybody shit. I mean, kind of promised the Celtics fans that you could re-sign with them. It was a tale of two halves here as the Celtics blew a 28-point lead to the Los Angeles Clippers. The Celtics, obviously, their best first half of the year. In a few years. In a few years. Then they turned worst third quarter of the season, which turns into the worst second half of the season, and they lose by 11. It was ugly. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they were not secretive at all. They were videotaped talking in the hallway of the Spectrum Center. But as a Celtics fan, you were still holding on. Kyrie was the only player to stick around. For Katie's entire All Star ceremony, went. right? Look at him; he's right there. Finally, photo was posted with the caption: "Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving spotted in Miami out of Boston restaurant after this together." Come so it's a video of me and one of my best friends talking, and then it turns out to be a dissection of a free agency video. You get that? Like, you, do you get that? Do you look at I mean, the internet real for you in your life? You really went like this. It's my yeah, life, right? It's two people talking, Made having sense. a conversation. And guess what? The recording was right. Picked up by Kyrie. Up and off. And Milwaukee is held on to win. You're upset if you got caught. I don't get frustrated about this stuff anymore. It's just part of the regular season, you know, in the playoffs. When we could plan for a team, prepare for a team, you know, I still don't see anybody beating us in seven games. So, no, I'll be fine. Why do you think that? Because I'm here. You go on the road and beat the defending champion Golden State Warriors by 33, you're balling. That, I mean, that was, that was great Celtics. In that team somewhere, a championship level team. It's in there somewhere they had to find it. And what Kyrie Irving say, they take this plane ride, right? They, air the, they, they, they work things out. Down the stretch, try to come in and help as much as possible. We should have probably trapped them a little bit more like every other team does in the league. Um, you know, but we didn't. Kyrie sharing those thoughts about Boston's loss in Charlotte. What is now a four-game losing streak. It's absolutely a shot at Brad Stevens, and this has happened before this year, and it's probably going to happen again. If I was a Celtics fan, I would be extraordinarily frustrated. And imagine being like the Celtics' ownership or even being Brad Stevens. Well, there's your cone of uncertainty. It's never been wider. They could go anywhere from the first round to the championship. And at this point, they're probably going to not have home court advantage in the first round. Here's Marcus Smart. He collides with uh, Vukovic. He waves signal. Yeah, and watch. Now, there is no tougher guy on the Celtic squad than number 36. Celtics Pacers. Congratulations to Smart on winning John the Schumann, Player of the Year. John Schumann, he called this one 100%. the underachievers 1, in the Boston Celtics it. versus the overachievers in the Indiana Pacers. It's a 4-5 matchup. I just think this is a series Kyrie Irving to wants win to really Gary stamp Payton his name on. He sort of carry this thing because it's been chaotic in Boston. They haven't looked impressive at all. Now they're going down fighting. And that's going to be it. The Boston Celtics will defeat the Indiana Pacers four games to nothing. Series in Indiana, even though they swept them, Indiana was in it all four the games. The Bucks suffering a pretty ugly loss at home. Game one, I know, like second round, woo! As a team, I don't, I don't, I don't know where Milwaukee goes from here. Because what are you? I, whoa, 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 whoa! So listen. is this over? No, listen, I think it's over. The series is over. Yeah, Boston is just going to out talent them. Milwaukee absolutely demolishes the Celtics. 116-91, advancing to the Eastern Kyrie Conference Finals for the first time since 01. Boston horrendous. making history with an epic collapse. They're now the first team in league history to win their first five games in the playoffs, only the to Andrews lose Andrews their next like, four. Where he went six Brad with 24 Stevens and he goes, yeah, who cares? tried to take the fall last night for his team, mm -hmm. but Kyrie Irving deserves 100. Make it 1,000 wow. percent of the blame. So, over the last four games, Kyrie Irving shot 30% from the floor. That is hard to do. From three, he shot five of 27. That's 19%. And he was like, yeah, who Maybe cares? the most skillful and player who ever lived. Brooklyn, Brooklyn and he's and he from the area and he's got the situation he wants. He's going to put on a show. But I can't sit here and say I'm confident. Problem Kyrie won't show up. He has not shown in the past that he can be just the, the, the lunch pail guy who doesn't ever cause a problem. It's absolutely crazy, man. So yeah, that's the drama on Kyrie.
and um, if you guys haven't seen the video from me attending game one yesterday, go check that out. Um, obviously, it's on my channel now. It's live. Uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe right now if you're new. You guys know what to do. Go check out my website. Link is in the description down below. And make sure you make sure you guys watch the video till the end because I do like a little montage of why Celtic fans the, the hatred for Kyrie has continued longer than what Kyrie thought it should have like Kyrie's always putting another log in the fire re-sparking the fire when things are looking like it's just about to calm down he does something that triggers the Boston Celtic fans and Boston fans even more so this will never end guys the hatred to Kyrie will never end and Kyrie you did it yourself you just did it to yourself uh, thank you guys for watching again thank you all for the uh, love and support if you guys are watching this Tuesday evening probably Wednesday morning too I am most likely in the hospital to get my malnutrition at this time again I want to thank you all for the uh, prayers and the kind words and everything I love you guys if this is my last video on my channel for a while I'll miss you guys for a little bit and um if you guys want me to do reaction videos while I'm in the hospital, if you guys don't care, seeing an IV in my arm and whatnot, seeing me in the condition that I am in the hospital, because let's be real, when you're in the hospital, you feel different than you do, like, if you are in your bed or if you are on your couch or whatever. So if you guys don't care and want me to continue reaction videos while I'm in the hospital, uh, leave a comment down below, leave a comment down something saying, like, keep going or something like that and um yeah that's pretty much gonna do it thank you guys for watching it's been jesse until next time i'm out see you later guys love you